Welcome back to Affordable Practical Living. Today we're going to go through another booklet. This is Betty Crocker, 30 Minutes or Less. And this is, what year is this? July 1991. Pause and zoom in if you'd like to see any of these recipes closer. So we'll start off with the first page. It says, Organize Your Kitchen. Plan ahead, use your resources, clean up quick, and cook smart. Okay. We're starting with quick, slick main dishes. First one we're doing is spicy curried chicken with rice. Zoom out so that you can see that. Okay. The second one we've got is lemon chicken and a stir fry chicken with cucumbers. We'll zoom out on that. Okay. These are. <clears throat> The lemon chicken seems fairly easy. We have spicy chicken with broccoli, four boneless skinless chicken breasts halved, two teaspoons cornstarch, a half a teaspoon salt, quarter teaspoon white pepper, just regular pepper for me, one pound broccoli, three green onions with tops, one hot green chili, I'm assuming a jalapeno is fine, Three tablespoons vegetable oil, two tablespoons brown bean sauce, not sure what that is. One teaspoon finely chopped garlic, one teaspoon sugar, one teaspoon finely chopped ginger root. On the next page, we have raspberry chicken breasts. That looks delicious. Raspberry actually is one of my favorite fruits. This actually looks easier for me. Four boneless skinless chicken breasts, halves. Two teaspoons finely chopped ginger root, a third cup raspberry preserves, and two teaspoons raspberry flavored vinegar. Um, yes, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and mark this because I would like to make this. I love raspberry and I love chicken. Okay, go ahead and mark that. Our next page is chicken with summer squash and Italian pasta salad. We've got turkey with chipotle sauce on this page. I believe that is the insert here. And it has a special second section for the chipotle sauce. That might come in handy. Our next page, we've got a turkey taco salad. I love that the 90s become a little healthier. We're mentioning turkey here. Lots of ingredients in there. You can make this keto or low carb by using the zero um, tortillas to make your chips. Okay, our next page, we've got turkey scalpini. That's probably not something I would want to make, but you might. We've got stir fried beef with zucchini. Lots of ingredients in there, but it looks like um, that is a vegetable garden type of dish there. Midsummer dish. Okay. We've got a beef tomato curry and a beef teriyaki with broccoli, which is pictured here. Let me zoom out so that you can see those. Okay. Our next page is a warm Greek beef salad. And that's pictured here. And then on the next page, we have a Western pasta salad and savory garden beef and noodles. That's one pound ground beef, one package hamburger helper, 
three and two thirds cup hot water, one medium onion, one half cup frozen green peas, and two medium carrots. We've got pork risotto and German pork salad on the next page. Over here we have stir fried pork with vegetables. What kind of soy sauce? Just regular soy sauce. I like dark soy sauce in my stir fries. It gives it a more umami flavor. Pork chops with rhubarb sauce. Now, I am gonna mark this and that is because I am planting a special type of rhubarb this year called kangaroo rhubarb that I have ordered. And I'm hoping that it will grow in my heat here in Pueblo, Colorado. So I want this so that I can have the rhubarb sauce recipe. Excellent. Over here we have pork florentine and Swiss cheese sauce as well. Okay. We have creamy smoked ham here and macaroni filled tomatoes. Over here we have Caesar antipasto or pesto and torsk with parsley butter. That is one pound torsk or cod fillets. Two tablespoons sugar, a half a teaspoon salt and parsley butter or lemon butter. And they actually give the directions for those as well. I love that. I love these little extra tidbits. You can use them for other things. Lemony herb swordfish. Um, that's too bougie for me. I'm not gonna get swordfish, but you can use the uh, halibut for that. Savory butter dipped sole, a garlic butter, and a Parmesan butter. See, now I will use the garlic butter, or even the parm. Next page, we have stir fried crab meat with celery cabbage, and that is pictured here. This is an insert of the sea bass with green beans. We're not big on fish in my house. We only like a few varieties. Shrimp is different, a stir fried shrimp with asparagus. Okay. Over here we have stir fried shrimp with eggs. No, I, I'm not, no, mm -mm, nope. And then we have cheesy tuna peppers, five medium bell peppers, one packaged tuna helper, two cups hot water, one cup milk, two tablespoons margarine or butter, one can tuna. That sounds very simple and easy to put together. We have homestyle scrambled eggs, which are pictured here. And that looks fairly easy to make. Over here we have broccoli and Swiss cheese frittata and Italian zucchini frittata. Okay. Oh, I skipped a page. Oh no, I didn't. This is the blue cheese omelet. I like I like blue cheese better than I did when I was younger, um, but it has to be in certain things. The almond cheese sandwich is fairly easy to do, looks like. Mexican bean patties and bean and cheese tacos. The bean and cheese tacos is using kidney beans. I would probably mix that up and use black beans instead or even pinto beans. We have kitchen secrets here. People writing in and asking questions and then the answers to those questions here. We're moving on to speedy salads and vegetables. There's a sweet and sour green bean. I like to make my green beans with butter, bacon bits, and onion. That is my favorite way to have green beans. 
and it's keto friendly. I'll have to show you guys sometime. And then broccoli with oil and lemon honeyed barbecue. Sausage stuffed mushrooms and cucumber tomato skillet, which is here. I like, when I do cucumber and tomatoes, I like them fresh from the garden or just even the grocery store for that matter, um, not cooked. I just love the flavoring of the pair together. Peas and onions. And this one has parm on it, I bet that's tasty. And then filled new potatoes, which is the insert here that looks delicious. Baked tomatoes and horseradish sauce, and it gives you the horseradish sauce recipe as well. Over here we have dilled zucchini and vegetables with wine cheese sauce. Zoom out so that you can see both. Okay, we're at the halfway point. Again, if you'd like to see these recipes closer, pause and zoom in. We've got lettuce wedges with creamy topping, which is here. Okay. Next, we have salad with Parmesan walnuts, spinach tossed salad, which is here. And it shows us Parmesan, Parmesan walnuts and chutney dressing. Zoom out so that you can see those. Okay. We've got zucchini salad and chili slaw. Let me try and adjust that. Okay. Over here we have orange kiwi grape salad, which is the insert here. We've got pineapple tomato salad, fruit salad with honey dressing, and sweet sour dressing and honey dressing as well here. That honey dressing with the mint, I bet that's good. We've got hash with zucchini, zucchini muffins, and continental zucchini. This would be good for people that grow lots of zucchini. I am also growing um, zucchini this next summer as well, um, but I like my zucchini for other things. Spiralizing is one. Side dish savvy. Honey bran muffins, date nut muffins. I like bran muffins. Um, they were popular in the 80s when I was growing up, and I just, I've always liked them. Over here we have herb biscuits and pan biscuits. I do a two ingredient biscuit if you want to go look at that video. It's very simple to do. Currant cream scones, bacon corn sticks. I actually have my own scone recipe as well that I have not put up yet. It is three ingredients, and I find it closest to the European scones than um, the American versions. Although it was Australian that I got it from. Blue cheese slices, here's the insert, and French bread sticks. We also have rice with artichokes and Greek tomato pilaf. Actually, I'm going to mark this Greek tomato pilaf. Okay. We've got a bulgur pilaf and a braised buckwheat kernels. On this side, we have polenta with cheese and our Mexican style macaroni. Three cups uncooked macaroni shells, one can topped green chilies, a jar of diced pimientos drained, a cup 
half and half, a half a cup shredded cheddar cheese, half cup sliced rice olives, and a half a teaspoon of salt. This one is interesting. I don't know if I want to put a marker on it, but I'm going to go ahead and do that. We have Creole noodles and pepper mastaciole. <laughs> there we go. Creole noodles and pepper mastaciole. If I'm butchering these names, I'm sorry. Okay. We, offer, we also have vermicelli and spinach and then dilled ziti. And this looks like a fairly straightforward recipe there, the dill CT. We're moving on to short and sweet. Fruit and orange cream and lemony grapes and blueberry, which is featured here. Both look like fairly simple recipes. Cherries and kiwi fruit and fruit, fresh fruit with French cream. That looks yummy. We have Mexican fruit dessert and fruit tortillas. Spicy peach crumble, I love peaches. Raspberry cobbler, I love raspberries more. Crumb topping for the peach crumble and almond topping for the raspberry. I am gonna mark this for the raspberries. I am growing raspberries in my garden. Although only one of my plants survived last year, but we will try and try and try again. I want my raspberries. Also have strawberries growing as well. So there's that. Berry compote with ice cream. A wonderful orange sherbet dessert. Orange sherbet is fairly simple to do. Orange Bavarian cream. I'm going to mark the orange Bavarian cream. Love Bavarian cream. Okay. And then we have apricot banana pudding. Oops. We have whipped avocado dessert and lemon tapioca with fresh berries. I've never had lemon tapioca, but I love tapioca. We have date cake and marshmallow fudge sundae cake, which is the insert that looks delicious. And then there's a lemon scotch topping as well. We have applesauce cake with apple cider sauce. Zoom out so you can see that. Okay. We also have pecan fingers and quick praline bars, 24 gram cracker squares, half a cup packed brown sugar, half cup margarine or butter, half teaspoon vanilla, and half cup chopped pecans. I'm going to go ahead and mark that. We have a covered chocolate covered pecan fingers here to go with the pecan fingers. I'm going to mark the quick praline bars. Love pecans. We have brandied, we have brandied butterscotch fondue and chocolate sour cream fondue, which is featured here. We have chocolate sauce, orange sauce, butterscotch sauce, lemon sauce, and strawberry rhubarb sauce. I need to mark this because I need all of these sauces in my life. I'll give you closer looks. Chocolate sauce, orange sauce, lemon sauce, butterscotch sauce, and lemon sauce and strawberry rhubarb sauce. Excellent. I'm gonna try to get all that together. I can't, not without messing it up there. Okay. 
Okay. I believe that might be it for us. We have some nutrition notes here. And that's it, guys. Well, there you have it. Betty Crocker, 30 minutes or less. 39 super fast recipes in 1991. If you guys like what you saw, like and subscribe. There will be more of these. And I've already done some as well.